stop Black Tusk from obtaining the data they're after from the vault. are watching Random Place, this is Radio Gamer, back on track, loud and clear. Last time we've had a bonus armor spam using the Banshee Pulse, right now we'll have a second version of our build. It is going to be more tankier as intended as we go for 2.1 million armor. And imagine a guaranteed 1.68 million bonus armor to your allies when you equip the Tardigrade Exotic. So for sure, having you on the team will excessively increase the survivability chance. And if last time we've had a Banshee Pulse, today we'll use a different skill, which is Blinder Firefly. So just to get the hang of it, let's get started. Coming from the Firewall specialization, the first thing that is good about it would be the Firewall Tactical Link in which allies deal 10% damage to enemies that are within 10 meters of you. Next thing would be this shield. It is an improved version of the Ballistic Shield. It is a striker shield that boosts the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the number of enemies in front of the shield. Next thing, since we do have uh, the Tardigrade Exotic, this one would be totally handy, the Fury Response in which upon armor break applies burn to enemies within 5 meters. Next thing are the weapons and these are my preferences. First is the KSG Shotgun which is almost a god roll for 14% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor, and 10% damage to target out of cover. Now since we'll be using the blinding skill which is the Firefly, this will be totally helpful. It is called Vindictive. Killing an enemy with a status effect grants you and all allies 15% crit hit chance and 15% crit hit damage for 20 seconds. And again, that is for a distance of 15 meters. Next thing is this exotic called Chameleon. This will be totally helpful with the damage buff since we won't be taking any weapon damage on the build as we go on full armor. Now I do have 14% assault rifle damage, 20.5 health damage, and max 9.5 crit hit chance. Now this is the damage buff that I'm referring to. It is called adap Adaptive Instincts. Heating 30 headshots grants 20% crit hit chance and 50% crit hit damage for 45 seconds. Hitting 75 body shots on the other hand will grant you 90% weapon damage for 45 seconds. And hitting 30 leg shots grants 150 reload speed for 45 seconds. 
Alright, proceeding with the gears, first we'll go with the backpack. I do have a guard roll, Gila Guard, which is 170,000 armor, 10% status effects, and almost 5,000 armor regeneration. Now, going for this gear, we'll be having 5% total armor. Now, if you don't have the Gila Guard brand set, you can go for a Golan gear, which is for 10% status effects. That will be helpful as well. If you have another 10%, you'll have 20% in total for your blinding skill, which is the Farfly. Now the only thing that you have to take note for this backpack is the galvanize in which applying ensnare, confuse, shock, or in our case, this is going to be blind. Blinding an enemy grants 40% of your armor as bonus armor to that allies within 20 meters of that enemy for 10 seconds. Next would be our chest, which is an exotic called Tardigrade Armor System. I do have a max roll of 170,000 armor. Well, the talent here is just like Unbreakable, but the difference is this is going to be just 80% bonus armor and temporarily equipped for 10 seconds. Now let's uh, read specifically the talent. It is called Ablative Nanoplating. Whenever you or any ally's armor breaks, they gain 80% of your armor as bonus armor for 10 seconds. Cooldown per ally is 45 seconds, and killing an enemy with your specialization weapon, in our case it is a flamethrower, it removes this cooldown for all allies. And last but not the least, which is going to be the highlight of our build, this is the Foundry Bulwark gear set, having which 2 pieces will be giving 10% total armor, 3 pieces will be giving 1% armor regeneration and 50% shield health, and four pieces will be giving the talent called Make Shift Repairs. Whenever you or your shield take damage, 20% of that amount is repaired both over 15 seconds. So as you can see, almost with all of the Bulwark gear pieces, I do have a max roll of 170,000 armor, and I have rolled each of the gear pieces with 10% explosive resistance. Well, typically with the tank build, you can choose between explosive resistance or hazard protection, but on this build, I went for explosive resistance. For the mod slots, I went for burn resistance. Well, if you want to, you can go for disrupt resistance. So from this choice of gears, we are having 15% bonus armor, 10% will be coming from Bulwark, and the other 5% will be coming from the Gilagard. The bonus armor spam intended from this build is coming from Galvanize, which is 40% of 2.1 million, that is about 840,000 armor. Second source of bonus armor will be coming from the Tardigrade armor system, that is about 1.68 million bonus armor, which is 80%, coming from your core 2.1 million armor as well. Now the last part would be the skills. And first, I have chosen the Firefly to take advantage of Galvanize, and we will be having max of 4 targets and blind duration of 5.9 seconds. Now for the next skill, we have chosen the shield. Last time we've had Ballistic Shield, but this time since we got the Firewall equipped, we'll be using the Striker Ballistic Shield. It is an improved version in which shield boosts the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the number of enemies in front of the shield. Now, as you can see, we are having 12% damage bonus per enemy. This is a 2% damage buff. And we still got tier 6 since we got 6 blue core attributes, 60% active regeneration, 250% shield health, 40% holster regeneration, and that's it, 2% buff. And of course, before we end, I'll be showing you the preview of our stats. That's it for the video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. And please do subscribe to my channel, I will really appreciate it for more upcoming Division 2 videos. Once again, you are watching Random Place, this is Radio Gamer, over now.